again everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. You are here again with Mr. T Farming Simple. Oh, as you all may know, today is Saturday. And even though we are off um, to a late start, we still um, going to resume our human and social biology. Human and social bio. Alright. Our topic for today we're looking at we're going to look at the difference between um or how to compare and contrast the plant and the animal cells. Alright? plant and animal cells so first thing we need to identify is a definition of a cell because um cell is the fundamental fundamental basic unit of life all living organism or all life forms contains cells all right so the fundamental Basic unit of life is known as it's called a cell. All right. So again, the fundamental basic unit of life is called a cell. All right. And, and as I said before, we'll be looking at the plant and the animal cell. So those are the two broad categories that cell um, that falls under cell. So you have a plant and animal cell. Also, animal cell. All right. So we have now the definition of a cell, which is the fundamental basic unit of life, and we have the broad categories that. Um, falls on the cell. So you have the plant and the animal cell. Alright? So we, we um today for today we'll be looking at the plant and also the animal cell and we will be actually doing a structure. A structure of the plant cell and also the animal cell. Alright? The plant cell and the animal cell so I'll be doing a little drawing of the plant cell and also the animal cell So first up, we have the animal cell. I will just clear the board to get some more space.
So now the first thing we'll be doing will be drawing the doing a diagram of the um the plant cell. So first up, the plant cell it has a um upright like rectangular shape. So we start you drawing like this. Because of we want to label it on both sides. We want to label it on both sides. So maybe we're going to have to do, to do them um, individually. Okay. And around this will be a wall. So this is the cell wall around this. So the animal cell carries a cell wall. Alright? We'll further explain the um the labels and and it's not really complicated. It's just that you have to have a little patience when drawing the um when doing the drawing of the um plant and animal cell. All right. Alright, it's now looking like we're actually reaching somewhere with the plant cell. Now, we're going to actually label now. So, definitely that this is. One, so another one. This is one, so another one. This one, another one. This one. Okay, and then this side.
Okay. I think um, now we can start doing our label. So this is the actual outer layer of the cell. This is known as the, um, the cell wall. That's a cell wall. Now, um, the the latest is the, the third layer. Sorry, the third. So you have first, second, and third. So now, after the cell wall, it has an actual membrane. It has it has a membrane. So the plant cell has both a cell wall and a cell membrane. So this now is known as the cell membrane. Should have had a, another line here. So this is actually the cell membrane. So that's actually the cell membrane. So there is the cell wall, the cell membrane, and The, now we have the vacuole membrane. So the, this inside here is the vacuole, but it, ha, it, it has a membrane. So here is the membrane. It's a vacuole membrane and we have chloroplasts so we have the chloroplasts and I'll name this has to do with um, the photosynthetic processes because um, I will further explain in another video distinctly these because they all have their different um, purposes because I want to, I would like to write a few definitions on the board as it relates to these individual um, members of the cell or parts of the cell, alright? So, I am not be explaining in depthly these, that's for another video because it will take up too much time for me to individually explain the different parts of the cell today. Alright? So now we have the chloroplast and we also have the the mitochondrion which is this. I suppose I have a little thing in it like this. And then the large area around here, this area, which, are, which, which can also be here, 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 anywhere, is known as the cytoplasm. It's a cytoplasm. And uh, here we have the ribosomes ribosome and we have the nucleus which is here the nucleus of a cell is one of the most important part of the cell well all parts are very much important because in here, this is where the actual um, DNA lies, alright? 
the, DNA, the nucleus contains DNA. As I said before, I will further explain this in another video. And this, as I said before, it's, it's the vacuole. It's V A C U O L E, vacuole. Vacuole. Alright? And we also have the right here. I didn't make a note of this. The endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum. In the plasmic reticulum and also we have I said I spoke about the ribosomes already and the, and these are some starch grains Are they on your um the these are also the starch grains but the um amyloplast still starch green are still known as starch grains so that's it for the plant cell. There are also other diagrams with um, other um, parts, more in-depth parts. But we can just stop here for now because these are very much um, enough information for your um, exam purposes. All right. So as we said before, we have our ribosomes. We have the nucleus of the cell. We have the... Um, the endoplasmic reticulum, we have the large vacuole, we have the endoplasm or the starch grains, and we have the cell wall, we also have the cell membrane, and here these are you don't need really need to know those for your example, you can know it also, which is the which is the Golgi apparatus. You can you can still know it. It's the Golgi, the Golgi apparatus. All right. As I said before, I'll explain in details these individual um parts. I really didn't want to put on some of these on it yet, but as I have um already placed the line, I just fill it out. All right. So. And in here, we have the, these are some juice crystals. I didn't 
put anything here. Jews, Jews, Christians. Alright, I'll just give you a few seconds to get the um get this off. And it's very important if you want to learn the concept of the plant and animal cell to draw them. Not just look at it in a book or on a screen to draw it, to learn it better that way. Alright? So now we have, as we said before, we have the ribosome. Alright, right here. We have the nucleus. There we have the endoplasmic reticulum. There we have the large vacuole, the um, amyloplast. There, and we have the starch grains. All right, and we have the cell wall, the cell membrane, and the Golgi apparatus, and the vacuole membrane, the chloroplast. The juice crystals, the mitochondrion, and also the cytoplasm. So, I want to get rid of this as quickly as possible and try to put on the animal cell. Remember, we spoke about. Going um, individually through these topics sometimes, it will take a little time. So, one of the major differences between the plant and the animal cell, which, which maybe in another video I'll have to do the comparison, because it takes a lot of time in order to draw and, draw and label both plants and animal cells. Alright? So, one, it has an actual true shape. Alright? One, the plant cell, as, as I said before, it has a shape like this. Rectangular shape. And the animal cell is shaped like... It, it has an oval shape. Alright? It doesn't have a true shape. So now we want to get the, the actual drawing of the... Animal cell. And now, as we can do again, it has a nucleus there. It doesn't have a cell wall. Alright? It doesn't have a cell wall. Here it has. There. There. As we said before, it has a, it has a nucleus. So I'm just um, actually doing the, some of the, the lines from an earlier stage, so it could be easier for us. Labeling.
That's basically it. So now we have the the nucleus we have the ribosomes down here as usual ribosome we have the cell plasma membrane that's right here So that's the actual cell plasma membrane and in the plasmic reticulum again. Reticulum and we have the The lysosome, you have rib ribosome and lysosome. L Y S O S O M E, lysosome. And this now is the Right here, so it should have had a little, um, I can change it. The mitochondria here. Mitochondria, this is the this is the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus in the nucleus. Alright, and that's the right so Golgi apparatus and this here we have the cell membrane. And we have also have all right so we have the cell membrane actually and we have the nucleus all right so actual nucleus and nucleus membrane really so this is another nucleus O U S, this nucleus nucleus. I'll explain that further. But we have the um the lysosome. We have the this is a basic room. Um, this is the periotic vesicle. It's a pin 
in pinaiotic pinaiotic sorry pinaiotic so pinaiotic vesicle so pinaiotic vesicle eh sometimes it's hard to call some of these scientific names but you will get it it's because I haven't done the plant cell for quite some time the animal cell for quite some time now some of these are actually leaving my head but by just looking at it you'll come back all right so don't be afraid there will be a few names for you to call and for you to remember but sometimes it's really practice and study all right all right so we have all of these no and we have the endoplasmic um endoplasmic reticulum so here we are now we have the different parts you will definitely understand it better when i'm explaining further with the um with the definitions or with their rules all right so we have this is the actual animal cell. The animal cell. Alright, so the structure of the animal cell. So you need to have the endoplasmic reticulum. We have the um, lysosome. We have the um, pineal. Yeah, pina. I don't want to <laughs> call this one. So. We have the mitochondrion, we have the Golgi apparatus, we have the nucleus, also another nucleus membrane. We have the ribosomes, we have some smoother ribosomes, and we have the cell membrane. So, here, distance around the actual cell is actually the cell membrane that actually protects the different parts of the cell. Alright, so we also have also again the Nucleus, all right, and DNA, sorry, and DNA is actual deoxyribonucleic acid, which contains genetic information, all right, and as I said before, I will be writing these individually on the board in another video, all right. Writing these in another video individually on the board. So I really want to want to pull this out any longer. And I, um, I really wanted to do the comparison but um which is to compare and to com contrast um or to show the similarities and differences between the plant and animal cells all right because there are actually similarities and also areas where they are different so in another video actually i will uh, i will do that all right so i will explain in another video the similarities and differences between the plant and the animal cell all right and please remember to like all the videos share them subscribe to my channel because this really helps a lot when you subscribe to my channel you help the channel to grow and when you share the videos you allow others to be um to be benefited from whatever i'm doing all right so thank you again